if you're new this is the real neat and today i'm going to be doing my eyebrows for you guys um usually i do a voiceover today i'm not going to be doing a voiceover if you're new please don't forget to subscribe because that means a lot to me and yeah um let's get started so i'm going to be doing my eyebrows today um with makeup i haven't done makeup in so long but as i'm doing my eyebrows i'm going to give you guys a little back background story um when i started doing my eyebrows i was doing my eyebrows in like almost a year or months like six months i don't know it's almost a year yeah almost a year like fill them in the eyebrow stuff like morphe i think it's called morphe i don't know i don't know what it's called but i use eyeshadow for your eyebrows that's why i used to use because it was just something I needed quick, and then I just started messing with it forever. So, yeah. And of course, I'm gonna be using black. Huh. I'm gonna be using this today, and of course, I'm gonna be using black because that's what I'm eyebrow. So I take my brush. My brush is kind of messed up. I haven't used this in like maybe two years. At least get the tip of my brush black. And I used to start, I don't remember, I think I started from down here. My eyebrows look like they all need them closed. Oh yeah. Let me see that. So, let me tell you guys what the first time I did my eyebrows ever. <coughs> first time I ever filled them in was when in middle school. And it was because I went to go get my eyebrows done out here where I live. I think they're, I don't know what the place is called. I forgot, to be so honest. I forgot to talk my head, but if I was to look it up, I would be able to tell you. And the lady basically, I thought my eyebrows were fine until I saw, saw, like I looked, looked, she put took all this off my eyebrow so my eyebrow really started right here it really originally started right here but it started here first time I get my eyebrows sit on here I was I cried like I was so sad because I was like oh my gosh this lady took off my eyebrow what am I gonna do <laughs> so my mom was like we're gonna fix it we're gonna get it together because I was just upset and yes, we did go back. And we did tell her, like, good girl. My eye, you took my eyebrow off. And we had before, we had to show before and after pictures and everything because of how my eyebrows were before. And how she left me. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, no. I did not come in like this. So why am I leaving like this with my eyebrows starting right here? I was upset. So then, my mom had um, said, we're going to fix it, we're going to get it, we're going to bring it back, because I was done. And then, she took a pencil and tried to fill it in. Mind you, I think my mom knew how to do makeup, I don't know. She do, but not as much, because we don't wear makeup. I mean, we do, but we don't. So then, I was just so insecure, because the next day I, went, I was in middle school, I came to school with this black old eyebrow, and I was just so embarrassed, literally embarrassed, like, why would, like, I have this black old eyebrow, what am I supposed to do? <clears throat> so, I was very embarrassed, so I looked on YouTube, I used my resources, I went on YouTube, and I was looking on how to do eyebrows. I remember I went to Vallejo, California, and I went to the beauty supply out there, and I bought me some, um, my Nana, she bought me some, I think it was my Nana or my mom, I don't remember who bought it, but somebody bought me some, um, concealer, LA Girl Concealer, and it was, back then it was a trend to, like, have your eyebrows done, or do your own eyebrows, it'd be, like, an Instagram baddie thing or something like that, some corny, so, and practice makes perfect because I was practicing all the time and I was really insecure about my eyebrows too so 
because I used to do them all the time. And I'm not gonna lie, when I first started doing them, it was done for. Like, it's now that I look back, I think I have pictures, but when I look back, it was like, Y'all let me walk out the house like that. Like, why would you do such a thing? <laughs> Now that I'm done filling in, you're gonna take your LA Girl Pro Concealer. Now this concealer, it's not my my skin tone. It matches, it, and that was another thing too when I first got concealer. I had to buy two different ones to make it actually match my skin tone and match what I had going on. And as you see, like I have a full thing of concealer because I don't wear makeup anymore. So yeah, but I got. I started getting more confident once I let my eyebrows go out for like a very long time. Like, I was like, I'm done wearing makeup because it would break me out. Makeup would break me out like badly all on my forehead. Every I got this from like a, a makeup palette from a long time ago. I never really bought, I bought brushes, but I didn't buy the brushes you were supposed to buy. Like, it was hard. So then, <clears throat> I'm just gonna take it, I put it on my hand, take it and put it on the ankle brush. I'm gonna start from the top. I just start from right here. But yeah, I did all that to bring my eyebrow back. Literally. And people notice that my eyebrow was going when I stopped wearing makeup. Because it was like, I reached a point, like, this was like freshman year when I stopped wearing makeup. At one point, I was like, I need to learn how to gain confidence in my own skin. Like, you can't keep wearing makeup all the time because then when you don't have no more, you run out. What are you going to do? Like, I had to figure it out for myself. So then, I was like, all right, bruh. This is high school. I can do it. And I did it. I stopped wearing makeup for a very long time. And then my eyebrows grew out. I was whooping. You know how boys be whooping when they don't get no haircut for like three weeks trying to get them waves? I was trying to get my eyebrow back. Simple. Literally trying to get my eyebrow back. I, your girl just wanted her eyebrows. So, yeah, I waited. I was whooping. I got them back. Um, how long did it take? Shoot, don't even remember. It took a long time, though. To get my eyebrow girl I was struggling and what else that was mostly it I would pluck them if I saw them like out of place that's about it besides forgetting my eyebrow back um what else would I do I think that's really it as far as that was going but yeah So you just go along your line, like, sometimes I would go like this to get that arch. I need some easier. But yeah, that's what I did to get myself back. And let me tell you something, confidence is key. I mean, if you wear makeup, go you does not mean you're not confident at all but for me that's why i was wearing makeup because i wasn't confident in my own skin but now <laughs> can I like nobody <laughs> literally because i know who i am i know what i can do what i can't do so. <laughs> yeah. that was my story when the lady cut my eyebrow all the way. Had it started all the way back. So yeah. And mind you, I was a little girl for makeup. I didn't get into I never really got into eyeshadow and stuff. Cause like I was like, ooh, that's kinda hard. Trying to coordinate colors together and stuff, like it's kind of hard to say. So can't do all that. <laughs> so I just stuck to eyebrows. Um, when it came down to like um, the 
occasions and celebrations, I'll just go get my, I mean, go get my makeup done. Like my birthday, my, not my 16th birthday, but my 15th birthday, I got my makeup done. My 16th birthday, I got my makeup done. <clears throat> now I'm just chilling. Um, my upcoming birthday, if I, I would get my makeup done, I would like to. That's if I do what I gotta do. If you do what I just gotta do, you should be good to do it. Period. Okay, so now that we're done with this part, now we gotta do blending and just make everything look nice, nice, nice. Because right now we just look like I got outlines on my eyebrows. My eyebrows did this in a long time, so if it come out weird, I don't know, it's to blend everything. I just gently do it. I don't go rough with it. Like if it's under the eyebrow, if it's the under the eyebrow, I be gentle. When it's on top, I'm just trying to just blend it out. So I gotta like this. See how it like don't match my skin color? Yeah, terrible. <laughs> and then I used to. I used to wear foundation, but every time I would wear foundation, it'll break me out. So, like, I used to get this color for um, eyebrows, but I knew I had a foundation to go over it. And mind you, I used to spend money on makeup, like, not a lot of money. Well, I didn't really spend it. Somebody always bought it for me, but. But if my eyebrow was to get cut off now, I would find a way to bounce back. I'm gonna finesse the makeup game. <laughs> I will probably dye my eyebrow back. You know, get that micro stuff, whatever. I don't know what it's called. It's called something where you could put this black stuff on your eyebrow, leave it on there, wipe it off. I think it's like dye your eyebrow, dye my eyebrow black. Like, plus some dye. I believe that's how you do it. Yeah. But this is how I do my eyebrows. Now, when I did my eyebrows and I didn't have no um, foundation, it would, I would not leave it like this. This looks crazy. Like some sea breeze type, and I'll take some Q tips. And this is what I would do. This should be played at high volume. I would take the inner Q tip and I'll just like clean it. In. The way you made me. <laughs> I like cleaning it clean too. And all that excess stuff go come right off. I feel like some people who make these go to defeat the purpose, but no. No, I'm gonna give it a And then after I'm done with this part, Like that. Okay. 
So after I'm done with this part, I would take my beauty blender with the with this. I just bought a new one. I just got. It. I didn't buy this. This got sent to me. But yeah, and I would just clean it all around so like it could stay on my lid if it wants to. Problem with that? Can't really tell. And then it looks like this. You'll have like access, but you'll be fine. And then after that, after I'm done with this part, my I'll put everything I use in the description down below. But after I'm done with this part, I would take some face that is vitamin E oil for my body. I'm only gonna take a little because it clogs my pores if I use too much. Put that on. Rub my face. do my eyebrows I mean I don't know if this was a fail or was it a go it don't look dramatic and this is a video to make so this is the end of the video um I feel like I had a little bit more practice the yeah, end of the video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to follow me on all my social medias which will be in the description down below and also check out all my other videos that I just posted yesterday and videos before that because girl our boy we're popping we're getting out there we're gonna continue to be grinding it's simple um yeah so have a blessed day and yeah